Well, the time's come. We are now dismantling Southwest Rod and Custom SWRNC DIY Auto School Dallas and uh, getting ready to put it up on the market. Um, what we got here are some signs I made for the Discovery Television Show and it was called Tough Love Garage. Hey, you need to get the ladder. Look, you got two in the middle. And then there's two over there. You might have to get that extension ladder between the wall and the paint booth. So what we did, we made these signs for the TV show Tough Love Garage. And they wanted me to make those. Now, they didn't pay me to make those. They didn't buy the materials. I just went ahead and made them. Um, and they've been hanging up here ever since. But it's now time to take them down because we're selling. We're selling the property and we're moving to Moab as everybody knows. Let's take a look and see what we've already done. If we look in bay number one, you can see it's pretty much gutted out. What? Come on. Tilt it. Tilt it, Nord. Tilt it. Okay, go. Bring it through. Come on. Come on, you got it. Keep going. Come on, Norm. Watch out, you gotta run over that thing.
And hey, go down there. I'll open the gate. Okay, come on. You got it. All right, right there. You're going to run over that thing. You got it. Come on. You got it. Pick it up. Set it over there next to that uh, Imperial front end where that Vega was. car off the wall. Did you see that action yesterday? Yeah, I saw uh, Norm was very careful not to mess it up. It's sitting out in the back. Um, we got all the cockroaches off the wall. Yeah. We went and got some touch-up paint so we could paint the black paint, which you'll probably be doing here in a minute as soon as it cools down a little more. Right. And uh, me and the body shop girl right here, she just put a brand new fence up. Um, we really didn't have to put the fence up, but for $68 worth of materials, why not? Uh, it makes it look a lot nicer. Now, what I'm doing here is, this is a garden trestle that I made, if anyone wants to come on over here. And you can see the beautiful vines that were growing through it after, what, 16 years of having it there, 15 years? Yeah, a long time. So, we got this beautiful cactus here that I made many years ago. And it's kind of dangerous if it comes over here, you can see all the prickly nails that I put on it. Uh, I'm gonna have to take my grinding wheel and I'm gonna cut all them nails off one of these days, but please bring the camera back around here. I was showing them the Okay, camera. now you're looking out in the street. You're not... The camera wasn't, Kate. Okay. All right, so we got a Route 66 sign down there if you want to bring the camera down here. Can you kind of be just a little bit better no, on the camera? No, I'm not going to be because you're being such a butt. Well, come on. But. Okay, remember the good old days when I first started doing all this? I always told you, follow my hand. Well, watch where my hand goes. You ready? Look. Would you like to follow my hand? You don't even know how to do it. So we got the Route 66 sign down inside the cactus. This was like a southwestern design. And it looks like this is going to my Now this is one I really don't like. And many of the body shop girls really pissing me off about it. But I want she you to wants throw to both of them away. Okay, she wants me to bring this thing. But what she doesn't understand is in okay, you don't see any wind blowing in Dallas, Texas. But I'm gonna show you what this thing's gonna do when we get it out tomorrow in Utah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. And you know why it's gonna do that? You know why it's gonna do that? Do you know why it's gonna do that? I'm gonna tell you why it's gonna do that. It's because uh, we're gonna have a hundred mile hour winds and it's gonna do this. Watch. Probably inside one of the flowers. Exactly, I hope they see you. Alright, let's 
probably inside one of the flowers, but okay, so Minnie wants to bring that with us. So now that Minnie wants to bring that, well, I'm gonna have to bring that. I'm gonna have to bring that and set it out in the desert, the high desert sand, somewhere on our property. And every time she goes by, she's gonna say, ha ha, motherfucker. I told you I'm bringing it with me, whether you like it or not. I want the fucking, I want the cactus yeah, too. Yeah. With the spikes. Okay, well, the cactus. We... Everybody knows Look. that a cactus has spikes. Okay, it's well, the cactus at least it won't blow as hard as this. He thinks okay, someone's well. gonna fall into it. Hey, sit down. Do you understand why I don't want to break it? I guarantee it. Oh, look, here comes the wind. I felt the breeze from Texas. I just felt. It's not gonna blow them like that. Okay. You watch and see. You mark my word. When we get to Moab and everything's set up, I am going to go outside on a hot, windy day. And I think I just messed. Okay, there we go. That's what you were trying to do, bro. And look, you can already see they're already starting to lean that way. Yeah, because okay. you were Here. pushing them, shoving them. I'll have to walk by it about once every week, and I'll have to do this to it. Okay, straighten it all out. Uh, yeah. See, the bees don't fuck with me because I don't kill bees like you do. You, you went to the store and got some wasp killer nest. They killed their nest, okay? That was you that did that. That was you, not me. So my trestle that I made comes apart in four pieces. Um, the top is separate from the sides and the back. And then we got our bench. Um, I have this up for sale. I know anybody out there watching this is really not interested in it. And if I was giving it away for free, there'd be a million people interested in it. But it's not free. It's not I want $1,200 for this. $1,200 is cheap. It's not free? No, it's not. But if it was free, there'd be a million people out there. So I'll take it. Or there'd be 1,200 people. Now forget about selling shit, because that ain't never going to happen. You ever heard of the old saying, starving artist? Well, you're looking at the fucking guy right here. Okay, thank God I only had a temporarily bolted together because I thought I was going to sell it 15 years ago. See, I put this thing up for sale 15 years ago. I still ain't sold it. Do you understand where starving artists come? Because nobody wants to buy anything. If it was free, they'd say, hell yeah, give it to me. Let me have it. Let me, let me have it. So I can bury myself in the beautiful mines and all the, uh, uh, what do they call that that makes you itch and stuff that... Poison yeah, ivy. Yeah, boy, let me bury myself in the poison ivy in the vine. So, poison yeah. Poison ivy yeah. and wasps. Is there poison ivy on here? There's yellow jackets. Okay. Wasps all around. Well, it's well, your fault that you killed them. I'm not going to be the murderer. I didn't kill them. They're still flying around. Okay, but I'm not going to be what considered. The hell are you I'm not going to be considered the murderer. You are. They're flying all you around are. you. So, if you look close, you can see it does come apart. And it will come down. And the pieces that I need, we can haul this baby out of here. Okay, watch out. It's coming your way. Watch it. Watch the cactus. Yeah. Fuck that cactus. I don't care about your cactus. I don't really care about bringing this with us. Now, the cactus is okay. I don't mind bringing that. It's that thing. Okay, I want to sell them, see? That was the whole deal I'm doing this, is to sell them and make some fucking money. right now I'm almost going into a panic mode uh, about the whole situation because losing my 
Am I back late now? Can I finish my sad story? Can I go ahead and do it? We got guitar music playing in the background. Can I finish the sad Can I finish the sad story? Okay. Okay, Minnie the Body Shop Girl, Camera Girl. Okay. All right, so I'm feeling very depressed right now. I'm feeling um, sad. I've lost the car on my wall. It's been there for 30 years. It's gone. Um, I got the metal in the van. The metal is in the van that goes around, that was going around the car. And I literally told Minnie the Body Shop Girl, hey, don't throw my metal away. I want to keep that. Why I want to keep it, I don't know, but I want to keep it. I want to put it in a box. I want to keep it. 30 years it's been there. 30 years. So I'll go ahead and finish tearing down the trestle. And more than likely, we'll be bringing this to Moab, Utah. Because I am not scrapping it. I'm not throwing it away. And I can tell you something. You can guarantee this. Listen to me close. I ain't fucking giving it away for free, bitch. It's not free. If you want to buy it, call my friend Pete. Let me know. All right? I can deliver it. If I'm on my way to Moab, Utah, and you happen to be between here and there, I'll deliver it for free. If it's on the There you way. go. That way they get something for free. They'll get free fucking delivery. Something that will be missed around here is you hear me holler and screaming. I mean, I talk loud anyway. I can do that here. The neighbors aren't going to I don't know what's going to happen in Moab. You know, what are the neighbors going to think of my friend Pete out in Moab? So I got to split this apart. The back's going to come off. We'll get all the vines off. And then we'll load this up. And one more thing done right here at SWRC Ranch, Dallas, Prison Yard, SKA, or should I say AKA? Why did I say S? AKA DIY Auto School. And uh, look what I used to have here. Um, this was my sign. Can I go ahead and tell you a little story about that? Can I go ahead and tell them? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I had this, I, I made this sign. I used to have it up on the corner there. And I took it out about 18 years, 17 years ago. Can I tell them why I went ahead and took it out? Because you read this right here, see what that says? Professional. Professional help apply within. Well, by putting professional on there, um, the only help that I got is, I don't know how to do this, but I want to learn. I don't have any tools, but I can use yours. I just got out of prison uh, because of drugs, but I'm willing to work for you and learn how to do all this. I never once got, oh, I did get one guy that said he was a professional and he had all his tools. And I told him, if you can do everything that you say and you got all your tools, I'll start you out at 20 bucks an hour. Now that was about, what, 13 years ago? You know what he told me? He said, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do for you. Give me $35 an hour, I'll do what you want me to do, and if you can't pay me that, I ain't working here. You know what I told him? Right there sitting at my desk while he was sitting in the chair. Fuck off, get the hell off my property, bitch. Um, I put an ad in the Dallas Morning News. That was before the internet. Dallas Morning News is a local newspaper. Am I back lit? Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and move this. This is an important story. Okay, here we go. Okay, am I back lit now? I'm not back lit now, am I? Okay, where are we not going to be backlit? How about right fucking here? Is that okay there? Good, you can sit down and relax, many of the bodies. You've been working hard today. Sit down and relax. So, let me tell you this story, and then we got to close this down. Um, I'm kind of giving you a little history of SWR. I'm, I'm giving you memories. I'm throwing them out there, and, and I'm letting you know stuff that went on. Because we got 30 years of memories here, and this is one of them. Okay, so I got the sign out there. I put an ad in the Dallas Morning News, which is very expensive. Am I right, Minnie? Yeah, we probably still owe him money. Probably still owe him money, because I don't think I paid him. And in the ad, I specifically said, no drugs, 
no alcohol, background check will be made. The only fucking guy that came over here is an old man. I'm working in my shop, freezing my nut sacks off in the middle of the morning. He walks in the shop and says, I saw your ad in the newspaper and I saw your sign. I said, okay. I'm not thinking this guy knows what he's doing because he didn't look like it. He says, now listen close because this is what he said. Are you ready? He said, my son just got out of jail on heroin drug charges and he needs a job. Why did you do that? Because something was on my hand. Okay, but I'm in the middle of talking and you moved the fucking camera. Bug. I'm sorry. Okay, well use two hands. Like I've been teaching you for 12 years. So the old man comes into my shop and he says, my son needs a job. He's never done this before. He just got out of prison on heroin charges. Are you fucking shitting me, dude? Wonderful. You read the ad in the paper. No drugs, no alcohol. Professional. See that? Professional. I thought that my buddy Walter put him up to it. I thought it was all a joke. I called everybody I knew and they sounded honest about it and said, I never sent nobody over there. I didn't even know you were hiring anybody. Well, let me show you what I'm going to do with this. You ready? It's gone. Okay, let me tell you how it is. I don't need no help anymore. You had your chance. You fucked it up. I'm sorry. And let me tell you something else. You can't come over here and work for free. All right, this isn't free. This is for sale. I'm upset. I'm mad. I'm, I'm anguished. You know what anguished means? Look it up. What I want to know, Pete, is what? why this should be... What do we need to know? This should be the happiest time... It's ever. not happy. I've been here 30 years. I'm giving up 30 years of my life. Where are you going? We got work to do. Exactly. Okay, let's get to work. Can you go get the impact? Come here, man. I need the impact with a 916 socket. Go get it. Come I'm on. Let's go. Else. Me and the body shop girl. I'm doing something else. Let's get it. The only employee I can trust. Right there. Look at it. Working hard. And we love Manny the body shop girl. Are you really gonna do that? We can't just throw those in the. Soon to be single. Hey, let me ask you this: You can't just throw all that stuff in the dumpster. I mean, you really got a package? We can't just like load it on the back of my truck over yeah, there. Yeah, why don't you just load it on the back of your fucking truck? And then we can like drive in the back. I think that's what we ought to do tomorrow morning after the dumpsters. Okay, well, uh, if you can get that impact, we'll go ahead and tear this thing down and be done with it. Nine sixteen socket. Then you'll make me do that. No, I didn't. I just said we're not doing that. Yeah. I just said that. What do you? I, know. You just said I just said. Go get the tool. No, I just said we're not going to do that. I just said that. Adios, amigos.